Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. So at this time we are talking about how to uh, create a Spark based application uh, using Scala as programming language in Eclipse with Scala IDE. And uh, we have uh, successfully created the application and we ran it through Eclipse directly. But now we will see how we can actually run this uh, application on a remote cluster. It could be a Hortonworks cluster or Cloudera cluster or it could be just sandbox or uh, a virtual machine image which have Spark in it. So to actually um, um, run it on the cluster, first we have to build the jar file. For that, you can go to uh, the uh, command prompt where we have our uh, um, applications working directory. So the working directory of my application is um, simple spark under research live demos big data spark scala. This is the workspace which I'm using and there is a directory called simple spark and this is the one with uh, working directory for my application. Here first I have to run sbt package and hit enter. So it will build a jar file um, after compiling uh, um, uh, the, uh, the Scala program um, uh, with all the dependencies uh, 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 that are required to, to run it as a Spark based application. It is already done as I have already ran a couple of times earlier. It was fast but for you it will take a little bit of time. It has to download all the spark based uh, uh, binaries and uh, then it will use those binaries to compile your application. Now you can go to target scala 2.11. I have already explained how this uh, jar file will be created. This is nothing but the name from the build.sbt. This is the major and minor version of scala and this is the simple spark uh, version which is 1.0 as part of my build.sbt. So we need to ship this to our remote cluster and now my remote cluster I can access using root user id. If you are using Cloudera uh, image you will be logging in as Cloudera at uh, your quick start vms uh, ip address or you have to get the ip gateway node of your cluster. So irrespective of the environment, you need to understand how you can connect. So I am using Hotmark Sandbox here, where I have to use root as the username and the IP address. The IP address you can get by running ifconfig-a command. I cannot select that here. If you see in the middle, uh, there is a command called ifconfig-a under which you have inet address, which is 192.168.145.249. I have to use that here 168 145 249 sorry I have to give the path to which I want to copy on that host I want to copy it in the home directory tilde is represented as home directory or you can say slash root which is the home directory for root so here I will be using tilde in Cloud as a quick start or any other node also if you give tilde it will go to the home directory if you want to give the path you can give the fully qualified path starting from slash which is the root file system uh, on your uh, remote host so in this case i will be using home directory itself which is represented by tilde and then hit enter you have to give the password now the jar file is copied to our remote host now I have to connect to the remote host and then first I need to make sure that I have the user space uh, that I can do by running hadoopfs-ls slash user so there is a user space with uh, uh, my os username which is root under slash user and the owner is also root so I have the root user space for for my user root. You can actually go to the instructions here if you don't find that slash user slash root. 
so if you um, if you are not sure about the environment that needs to be set up you can click on this link to set up environment on pc or aws it has several options you can either set up uh, a cloudera quick start vm or hornworks vm on your pc itself or you can also have a single node lab on aws that being said these are the instructions to create the user space first you need to identify for which os user you need to create the user space in this case uh, in my case it's root so i am running this command called sudo hyphen u hdfs to create the user space and then to uh, uh, hyphen ch1 to change the permissions so that the owner is os user root itself on slash user slash root and then hadoop fs hyphen ls slash user slash root uh, to validate that we already have the um, uh, the directory okay so hadoop fs hyphen ls slash user slash root if it is empty it will not return anything if it already have some uh, some data or uh, some files you will see those things here okay so i have a user space and also i have spark underscore demo directory here now we have the hdfs setup to run our spark based application so you can run ls hyphen ltr there is this simple spark underscore two dot eleven hyphen one dot zero dot jar which is just copied and we want to run that application uh, to test um, whether we will be able to run this spark based application on the remote uh, server so for that to run it you either you can run it in yarn mode or you can run it in the local mode so now i can copy this one to run in yarn mode because i am running on a virtual machine where there is not enough memory i have to pass these additional parameters hyphen hyphen executor memory and total executors uh, total executor cores okay the main parameters are spark hyphen submit is the command to submit the spark job and then hyphen hyphen class we have to give the class name and our class name is nothing but simple app here so that's why i am giving the class name which is nothing but object name in scala and then master yarn because i want to run in the yarn mode if you want to run it in the local mode we just have to pass the parameter as local because it's already part of the um, the code um, i even um, in uh, um, in uh, hotnox sandbox also i think the default mode is uh, local that's why you, you don't need to say hyphen hyphen master as uh, local but for yarn you have to say that because the default is something else and then executor memory is 512 megabytes total executor cores is one you just have to use this thing so that it uses fewer resources otherwise you will run into some out of memory issues then you have to pass the jar file name so this jar file name is the one which we have used to copy it to the target host target host in my case it's a simple spark dot to uh, 2.11 hyphen 1.0.jar but as per the documentation it is simple spark underscore 2.11 uh, sorry as per documentation it is simple hyphen scala but as per my setup it's simple hyphen spark that's the only difference you can uh, change the name of the uh, jar file name here the way you want uh, whatever name you have used to copy and then uh, yarn hyphen client uh, because as part of the application here we are saying the uh, deployment mode okay so uh, so the deployment mode has to be yarn client this is actually the cluster mode and this is uh, the deployment mode and then you have to pass the output directory um, in which you want to copy uh, this uh, data as part of the hotmark sandbox uh, it is uh, um, spark is uh, uh, integrated with hdfs by default hence we are giving the hdfs path if it is using local file system then you have to give the um, by default it will be created in the local file system provided the directory structure exists if you want to make sure that it, it is written in hdfs or in uh, local file system you have to change the protocol so for local file system you have to say file colon slash 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 for hdfs you have to say hdfs colon slash slash name node ip address 
call an 8020 blah 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 so you don't need to worry much about this as long as you have access to the cluster most likely it will be pointing to uh, hdfs by default hence you can run this uh, without any issues in case if you if for some reason your clusters are configured for local file system by default you can actually click on this resilient distributed data sets where i have shown how to actually write to different environments um, uh, for local file system you have to use file for uh, hdfs you have to use the hdfs colon slash slash then the um, name node ip address and port number okay but you don't need to worry much about this most likely your environment will be pointing to hdfs hence the data will be copied to hdfs and this is the location where the hdf uh, where the files will be copied in hdfs and for this we need to have the user space for our os user that's what have uh, is done earlier that being said we can now run this one now it is running so don't worry too much about the syntax and semantics um, even if you don't understand completely just copy paste with minor changes such as the output path your application name your class name etc remaining stuff leave as is they will be covered in detail as part of the uh, as part uh, as part of the main course of spark uh, using scala okay that being said the program is almost done then we will run it in the local mode also and we will validate that it is successful now we should have the directory with the name simple app output okay you can see see it here earlier we have only spark underscore demo now we have simple app output and then we can actually do Hadoop SS hyphen ls and hit enter. You can see that there are two files created. We can also run Hadoop hyphen cat. It should have one, two, three, four, five in them. It might not preserve the order, but you will see all the five values in those two files. You can see one, two, three, four, five here. Now there is another mode where we can run that is called as local mode, which will use a lot fewer resources and which will be typically fast on smaller applications. But before doing that, we have to delete this directory because we we should not have the directory already existing. So I am deleting the directory simple app output here, and then I will copy this code snippet. and hit enter so the slash in the end the backward slash in the end is to just the um, uh, to break the line uh, lines so you should not have space after the last uh, after the slash then only uh, the line break will work otherwise you will run into issues this is the linux feature where you can run uh, write a long command in multiple lines by uh, um, by providing backward slash as the last character uh, so that it will break from that moment uh, uh, into a new line so in this case this one command is broken into five lines by using the line break backward slash and there shouldn't be any character after that okay that being said even the local mode uh, is uh, ran yeah, and it, it was pretty fast compared to yarn mode on single node you will see significant difference on um, larger nodes you, you will not see that much of difference when you actually run uh, bigger jobs that being said now again we will review Hadoop uh, uh, the simple output app output to see if there are any files created there is one file created this time and we will actually run cat command on it and we will see all the five values uh, printed uh, or saved into that file so now we have successfully set up the environment we have actually um, uh, uh, created a, a spark based application using scala ide for eclipse and we build the jar file using sbt we shipped the jar file to a remote cluster and we have run on the cluster successfully in different modes 
such as yarn and local that being said i hope you are enjoying the content if you like this please uh, uh, provide me best rating so that i can come up with more and more content like this over time if you see any issues as part of the content please let me know i will try to uh, resolve those issues or i will try to provide the justification and based on that you as per your satisfaction levels based on my response uh, you can give the rating or if you don't have any concerns please give me the uh, full rating so that i can come up with more content like this that being said all the code snippets everything will be part of uh, will be available as part of my blog so this one is under apache spark with scala uh, this is the url itvarsity.com slash topic slash develop spark apps with scala ide is the current one but if you want to get to apache spark with scala and all the uh, um, all the blocks related to scala you can uh, spark with scala you can go to this and you can actually see the complete content over time um, as part of my uh, blog that being said um, i will uh, sorry that being said thank you very much bye